Hello everyone, this is lecture one in a series of uh, lectures on business valuation but using the model, multiples model. Now, uh, I don't like to dive in uh, straight into uh, going and explaining what exactly is the multiples model. So what I will try to do, uh, I have uh, come out with uh, one very simple example using two companies. So let's assume you have two companies, company A and then company B. Company A is uh, listed or quoted. Uh, maybe it's quoted on the uh, FTSE 100. So it's quoted on the stock exchange. Company B is not listed. Now you can see straight away, well, there is some sort of difference between these two companies. One is listed, one is unlisted. But there are some similarities. So let's assume that both are in the automobile automobile industry. So let's assume both companies are in the automobile industry. So company A and company B are both in the automobile industry. And they are very similar in terms of size. Yes, so I'm gonna, it's important we, <coughs> sorry, mentioned that. So they are both similar in terms of size. So similar in size. There you go. Now, what's the deal here? If we're valuing company A, well, company A can be valued much more simpler than company B because all you have to do is you go on the stock exchange, could be FTSE, and you look at the price of uh, company A, um, the market price of company A, the market price of one share, and then you multiply that by the number of shares, and this will give you an idea of what company A is worth. But let's say our aim is not to value company A, we want to value company B instead. How can we use the multiples model of course, we haven't talked about this yet, um, but how can we use some figures for company A in order to value company B? Now, the, for those who are familiar with finance, we normally calculate a ratio, which is known as the price earnings earnings ratio. The price earnings ratio and it goes something like this market price market price per share market price per share divided by so market price per share let's move that slightly market price per share and then divided by, so if you want, let me try to put this as a formula, so equal market price per share, and you would divide by the earnings per share, so market price per share, divided by earnings per share, and there you go. This way you will calculate this way you will calculate the price earnings ratio for company A. Let's assume listen let's let's gonna I'm gonna make out some figures here. So let's assume well we're since we are on the low FTSE one hundred, so we're working in pence and let's say uh, the market price of company A for one share is 250 pence and the earnings per share is 25. So that gives you a price earnings ra ratio of 10 times. All well and good. But how can we use this information and try to value company B? Well, remember I told you company B, uh, well, company B is unlisted. It's not quoted on the stock exchange. But there are some similarities. It's very similar in size to company A, and it, maybe it's also in the automobile industry. So how can we use the information for company A to value company B? 
Well, if that's the case, can't we say, well, if the price earnings ratio is market price per share divided by earnings per share, and since company A is quoted, we know the market price per share, but can't we say, well, what do we want to find out for company B? If someone wants to buy company B and have no idea how much company B is worth, we can say, well, what is missing here is the market price of the market price of company B. I'll take you back to the ratio, to the price earnings ratio. Well, if the price earnings ratio is market price per share over earnings per share, and um, since what we're saying is we want to value company B, and since it is very similar in size to company A, probably in the same industry, can't we say, well, if that's the case, then the price earnings ratio for company B is also 10 times now how do we how do we calculate the price earnings ratio so take you back to the formula market price per share over earnings per share what else can we know for company b well we can also know what is the earnings per share for company b we can also know the earnings per share for company b uh, that will be published or you know it will be ready uh, readily available in the annual report let's assume companies company b's earnings per share is 42 pence now if that's the case can't we find out what the market price of company b is well think about it what is the price earnings ratio the price earnings ratio is market price per share divided by earnings per share right now in this formula we what is missing is market price per share can't we say the market price market price per share for company b equals well, if we replace or rearrange the formula, can't we say it is equal to the price earnings ratio? I'm going to shorten that for PE ratio. And then multiply by the earnings per share, or I'm just going to call it EPS. And if that's the case, well, what is the price earnings ratio? It's 10 multiply by earnings per share that's 42 for company b and there we have it well company b share the market price can't we say it's valued at 420 pence and all we have to do is to get the total value of the equity or the company we take 420 pence and multiply by the number of shares I hope you get the idea. If you get the idea right, then we can move on. And I'm, I will stop this lecture here. And I will see you in the next video.